In this video, we're going to have a look at creating internal walls for the ground floor of our building. Therefore, I'm going to go to the ground floor plan. Now, you can do this by double clicking in the project browser, or if you've got the tab open, you can just click on the tab and jump straight to it. Again, we go to the wall command, as we did with the external walls, and I'm selecting wall architectural. Use the type selector to search through your wall constructions. Now, I'm actually going to use the wall internal 12 plaster, 100 block, 12 plaster. So I'm having solid blockwork walls on the downstairs of the property. When I do the video for the upstairs, I'll use some stud work walls and we'll just edit the construction of those a little bit as well. Now, what I need to do is to think about the layout of my property. We may already have done this with the hand drawings that has already been done with the sketch plans. Um, but if you haven't, maybe you've worked out something. So I'm just going to do a fairly straightforward layout. Now, I'm not going to be overly concerned about being too precise as to where the walls are going immediately. So I'm just going to check the options bar. We've got the height set to the first floor. I'm happy with that. Location, center line. Um, I don't really like it on center line, but for what I'm going to do at the moment, it's not going to matter. I'm going to turn off the chain though, because I don't want chains on these ones. So I'm going to stick this one in roughly in the right place. Just stick it by there for now. Then I'm going to stick another one. Again, I'm just roughly putting these in the right places. And I'll get the positions all sorted out in a minute. Okay, so that's the basic layout of my building. So let's click on this wall first of all. Now we can see the dimension here is going from the inner face to the inner face, which is good. And I want to click on that and change it to 3500, press enter, and the wall has adjusted its position to the correct spot. Then I'm going to go across to this wall, change that to 1200. And then I click on this wall and change this one to 1200. And that's given me the sizes as I set them out. And it's given me 3620 left over on my building by there. Then I've got this wall here. And I made this cupboard 100 wide, 1000 wide for meter. And then this one and the toilet, I made 1500 wide. So there. Uh, all of my downstairs walls. However, at the moment, they're from the ground floor slab going up to the first floor level. So we'll just click on that, have a little look, and there we go, we can see them. All right, and you can see that nothing goes through the bottom. So I'm thinking, do any of these walls need to be load-bearing and carry the load of the floor above down to the foundation? Well, it's quite likely, yes, because this wall here is more than likely going to be taking the floor load from here. Okay, and it's also quite likely that this wall is gonna need a foundation to actually take the span of the floor going across here. While as these walls are not going to be load bearing and therefore they can just sit on the slab like they're doing. So these two walls, I'm just going to highlight like so. And then in here, I'm going to change the base constraint in the properties to the foundation level. And then if I go back to the 3D view, you can now see they go through the floor slab. Okay. And they're ready for a foundation to be put on them later on. 